Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a table of contents in Microsoft Word 2010. Uh, and to do that, we'll start off by applying some of the inbuilt styles that are available uh, in Office 2010. Now, I have a document open on my desktop here. Um, it's a long document, um, and I have made some of the text red. And this text, I'm going to actually decide that these are my main headings. Um, they're just at the moment, they're um, in the normal style up here. And you can see it's normal, because when I click on the text, normal is selected up here in the Home tab in the style section of the ribbon bar. And the rest of the text is normal. Um, other parts of the document, I've made it green so that it's easy to see, um, but it's still formatted as normal at the moment. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the Heading 1 style to my major headings. So anything that's red like this, I'm going to click into it, and I'm going to apply my Heading 1 style. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down through my document, and anything I want to be a major heading in my document, I'm going to click on. Uh, heading 1. On the keyboard, Control, Alt and 1 are the keys that you would press. Oh, sorry. Um, and so red, heading 1, oh sorry, heading 1, make sure the whole thing is selected or else you just click it into it. Okay, into red, heading 1, oh, sorry, done again, heading 1, heading 1. Now, it sounds like a long job, but actually you scoot through it quite quickly. Okay, so I've got seven sections uh, in this document, and I'm just going to do Control and Home on my keyboard to get up the start again. So I've put on um, all of my major heading uh, formatting using the style one. Uh, I'm now going to put on my heading two formatting. So I'm clicking into these green ones here, and I'm applying my heading two. So clicking into the green and heading two. And I'm just going to pause my video so it doesn't bore you. Okay, so I'm just on the end of my uh, document at the moment. Uh, so this is at the very end. I'm on page 12 of 12. So I'm on the last item that needed to be formatted as Heading 2. So I just click into it and apply Heading 2. Okay, so my Heading 1 style and my Heading 2 styles are applied throughout the document. I could have Heading 3 or Heading 4, but in this particular document, there are 12 pages, and I've got Heading 1s and Heading 2s, and I haven't used um, Heading 3. So I'm going to go back up to the start of my document. What I do is I do Control and Home to get this to the start of the document. You can see here I'm on a blank line, um, and the formatting of the blank line is normal, which is fine. Okay, so to insert the table of contents, um, you click on the References tab up the top here. You click on Table of Contents, and here are the um, options available here. Uh, and normally I just choose Automatic Table 2, so I click on that. And in pops um, the Table of Contents. All of my Heading 1s are formatted as a larger font, and all my Heading 2s are the smaller font. You can also use this as like a link within your document. So if I do control and click, it takes me to that particular spot in the document. And then control and home. Sorry, just an error message. Control and home, which takes me back up to the start again. Um, this table of contents is quite long. As you can see, there are a lot of heading twos in this document. So if I decided I just wanted to show my heading ones, which would just be the sections, um, I can do that. So again, on the References tab, if I click on Table of Contents and Insert Table of Contents, um, in here it gives me some options. Um, at the moment, for example, um, if I just look here, it's a straight line to the number. If I prefer a dotted line, I can choose that in there. Um, and I can also decide how many levels. Two is what it's at at the moment. If I change it to one, um, you can see what happens. So I'm going to click on OK there. Do I want to replace the existing table? I do, yes. So I click on yes. And so you can see this is a much shorter table of contents. To bring it back to show uh, the heading two styles as well, I click on table of contents, insert table of contents, show level two or three or whatever number you want to show to, and OK. Replace the existing, yes. And so you can see we're back to the longer table of contents again. OK, this is the end of this video.